Do you mind being filmed by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, you have three minutes. Okay. Right, well, I'd like to ask Councillor Beck um, what he's been doing at the secret meetings of the Cambridgeshire Police and Crime Panel, which have been held behind closed doors. Um, Councillors will remember they gave Councillor Beck a bit of a buy for the usual procedure that the um, council doesn't get involved in um, such secret meetings on the grounds of it. It was a relatively informal get together um, discussing sort of the kind of things that the panel um, might do when they officially come into being. Um, however, I think there have been a few decisions um, that have been taken by the Shadow Police and Crime Panel. Particularly, it's been reported that they're not going to meet formally until January 2013. Well, I think that's a very significant decision because it means they're not really going to um, get to grips with their role. They're not going to sort of um, make it clear to the Commissioner that they are a, a serious body who's going to be um, monitoring what they are doing. Um, they're not meeting until straight away in November as soon as the Commissioner is elected. They've also um, been working on the appointment of the two non-councillor members of the um, Police and Crime Panel. The advert for um, those positions has um, gone out um, in a very kind of uh, under the radar way. It's, it's available on um, one website and emails are being sent out to selected people. So I'd just like to find out from Councillor Beck um, what he's been, been doing on behalf of people who came to the uh, at that meeting, and I'd also like to ask him um, to get this open, uh, opened up. Um, what did he do at the meeting to get it opened up? And um, would he, he, he obviously holds a copy of the papers of um, this meeting on behalf of um, all of us, people and the people of Cambridge, and would he then um, publish those? Because the um, panel themselves have decided not to um, proactively publish their, um, their papers. Thank you, Councillor Dick. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Taylor for his question. Um, so, um, the, the Police and Crime Panel, uh, as Mr. Taylor alluded to, only comes into existence from January, and so it has no powers um, to exercise and so on. The, the meeting of um, what I prefer to regard as the panel designate, um, alternatively called Shadow Panel, um, last month was primarily educating itself about the powers and responsibilities that it will have and setting in motion matters that it will need to decide on when it formally comes into existence in January. Um, Mr. Taylor wants to know, um, or at least in his, the written version of this question that he gave me, he wanted to know um, what I had to say at that meeting um, about the facts that, that it the panel wouldn't meet formally until January. Um, and I can say to him that I, I didn't comment on that as, as a matter of fact, as far as I'm concerned, that the local members of the panel cannot change, that it doesn't come into formal existence and so on. Um, asked um, what um, I said about the recruitment of non-councillor members um, of the panel. I, I said that um, I would hope to see some representation amongst the two independent court teams um, of experience of working with young people. Um, and he asked, um, what could I say about the um, panel designate continuing to meet in secret um, and in private um, and not to proactively publish meeting papers? Um, and I can tell him that along with um, County Councillor Wilkins, I spoke for open <coughs> meetings um, during the, the, the shadow or designate phase of the panel, um, but we were not in a majority. Um, and we did seek and obtain confirmation that nothing will get treated as a decision on the part of this um, designate panel until it gets, would have to be remade by the panel when it formally comes into existence when it would be in, a, in open session. Um, I. Um, I understand that the question of the publication of uh, papers and minutes during this um, designate or shadow phase um, will become a uh, matter for discussion at the uh, October meeting of the, um, of the body. Um, and I would certainly be arguing strongly in favour of those papers becoming um, proactively public. Um, in the period up until January when they will always be here. Um, would I unilaterally publish the papers myself? Um, no, I don't think I would. Um, I think on a subject of this kind, I would respect the decision of the body that I've joined, even if I don't like it. Um, if, um, I 
think if, if respect for those decisions becomes only only optional, and I think because there is no powers or responsibility involved, I don't see this as the most grave of possible issues. Um, I think um, if respect for these things becomes only only optional, I think it will make for a very ineffective panel as things develop. Um, and I think there will be much more serious matters where there will need to be respect for decisions taken by the world. Mr. Taylor, you should follow up. Just quickly. Um, you have two minutes. Obviously, I um, disagree with um, Councillor Vick on what constitutes a serious decision. I think the serious decision um, it is a serious decision to not meet till January. Um, the, there are serious decisions about the appointment of the um, non councillor members, and I also disagree with him on the um, on openness. I think he could do something um, personally. In terms of not meeting till January, um, if the panel have really been told they don't statutory, they don't come into existence till January, I don't think that's the case. I think what the case is, is that they don't have a statutory role to carry out until January. Um, however, elsewhere in the country, police and crime panels are meeting as soon as commissioners are elected in order to um, sort of make clear what their role is going to be, to meet the commissioner, and also allow the commissioner to ask the panel um, what, how, what support the commissioner wants um, from the panel. But I've been suggesting that one of the roles the panel should have is to help the commissioner do some of the um, jobs that the members of the police authority have been doing, for example, reviewing um, police performance, reviewing dipping into police complaints and reviewing them, hearing from the um, custody visitors. Whereas it, it appears that behind closed doors in these secret meetings, what Cambridge's um, police and crime panel have decided to do is just to do the statutory minimum, which is something that, that, that I um, disagree with. Thank you, Councillor Vick. Um, happy to note take on board the comments Mr. Taylor's made um, and let's see how we get to after the uh, future meetings. Thank you. Well, Mr. Taylor will hear from you again later.